Hi, Chris Houston here from Review Your Gear. Today we're going to talk a little bit about snap weights, one of my favorite ways to troll walleyes. The problem with a lot of times when you're trolling walleyes, and let's say you have a four rod spread, is when you're turning and cutting in and out, if you're not doing a perfectly straight troll, your lines tend to sway into each other and occasionally fall up. To avoid that, and a great way to keep your baits always in the zone is to use snap weights. What I like to do is take my favorite crankbait or whatever crank you want to use, and I like to use this particular brand of snap weight. Now there's a different snap weights on the market. Uh, Offshore makes a great one, that's the most common. I tend to use one that's made by Cabela's, that's their tension release snap clip. Uh, this is the five ounce version. And the reason I use this over the other brands is because I use Power Pro and it's a very slippery line. So these tend to want to slide, but with the Cabela's brand, it locks right in the line and you do not, it does not let go until you release it. The way I usually use snap weights, and there's a lot of different ways to use them, I like to put out about 20, 25 foot of line and clip on there. A lot of guys use a lot longer of a lead, and that's completely the personal preference of each angler, but I go with about 21, 22 feet. So I'm going to feed this out, feeding out a custom bandit today, a blue and yellow. I'm going to get that to 21 foot. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is, I'm going to snap this onto the line. In this case, I feed it up into the clip, snap up, and it's set. From there, to be blatantly honest with you, you can count out the angle and the foot and the speed and everything, but I like to just let out my line. No, I just like to keep my thumb on the spool to keep it going from too fast. And there it hit bottom at 61 foot, and we're in 28 foot of water. So as I reel it up a bit, I can now, at about 49 feet, you can feel the rod tip jiggle from the crankbait. That means it's right off the bottom at 49 foot at this particular depth. So if I want to run it a couple of feet off the bottom, I'm going to reel it up 4 foot to 45 feet, set it in my rod holder, and you're all set up to run snap weights. You, that way you know exactly how deep your crankbait is always running, and again, it keeps a shorter line so you're not tangling with your long lines when you're trolling. Again, I'm Chris Husted, and that's your Review Your Gear tip. Beautiful eye. Beautiful fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Look at that. Look at that. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Nice fish. Marks down there, not surprising, one hit. <laughs> 